identity and access management is one of the most critical topic that you must know and understand when working on Oracle's Gen2 Cloud, that's OCI. What are three different type of users in OCI? What is instance principle, dynamic groups, policy or compartment in OCI? Or how to restrict or grant access to OCI resources like network, compute or databases? I'm going to cover all this and some of the question answers from day two of my Oracle Cloud Infra Architect 10932 certification training in this episode. Welcome to episode 17 of weekly video series with me Atul Kumar from Team K20 Academy where we help you in your journey to Oracle Cloud. Now objective of this episode is for you to see what things you should learn related to identity and access management when working on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or appearing for OCI's Architect Certification 10932. So this is what I covered with Cloud Expert Amit when I was doing recently day two of this training. So the first thing you should know is about users and there are three different type of users or we call principles in Oracle Identity and Access Management for OCI. That's a root user and this is a user that gets first created at the time of creating an account or tenancy. And this is a super user and have full access on tenancy, meaning administrative privileges on all the resources in OCI. Then you have normal identity and access management users, the users that will be interacting with OCI resources like your database, compute, networking, etc. And the final is instance principle. And this is where a lot of my students or who come to my free masterclass get confused what this instance principle means. So as name suggests, instance is nothing but a compute or a Linux or Windows machine that you create on OCI. And when this instance needs to connect to other OCI resources like other instances, compute, virtual cloud network, object storage, load balancers, instead of connecting them via a username and password that you store in a configuration file, or storing these credentials somewhere in your OCI console or OCI configurations, it uses this instance principle, meaning these configurations doesn't need to be stored in any configuration file and that helps in security. And these instances then can be granted access using something called a dynamic group. So on day two of this training, there were a lot of questions related to instance principle. So I've covered this in the show notes at ketoneacademy.com forward slash 17. That's episode number. Now questions like explain this instance principle a little bit more in detail. So if you want to understand a little more about instance principle, you can go to this show notes and click on this link. It will tell you a more related to this instance principle documentation. There was another question related to if I need to use OCA resources like connecting to stories, do I need to always use instance principle? Now answer is a no, you wouldn't need an instance principle all the time. It's only when you, a compute is connecting to storage. But if you as a database or applications, then you'll be using something different, which is like tokens. Now next we discussed was groups, which is nothing but collection of users to whom you grant access to OCI resources like network, compute, databases, etc., using identity and access management policies in OCI. So it's important for you to also understand policies and that in my view is one of the most critical topic that's policy and compartment we'll see in a minute. Now, within this group, you have a static group and you also have dynamic group where dynamic group is collection of your instances, which was nothing but, as I said earlier, compute, that's operating system Linux or Windows that you create on OCI and put them into a group using some rules. And these dynamic groups, then you apply policies on this dynamic group and using these policies, you grant access to the OCI APIs, that's application programming interface or REST-based APIs exposed in OCI. 
so there were few questions related to the dynamic groups or normal groups so you go to this show notes k20academy.com for slash 17 and then click on this link to know more about this dynamic groups now if you want to see where these users and groups are visible in oci you can go to this your oci console and click on this hamburger menu left here and then you go on to identity and under this identity you will have all the identity and access management related to oci that's users groups dynamic groups and other two important thing you should also know is policies and compartments so the next you should learn about is policy and where policy is nothing but a set of rules that comprises of one or more statements which specify what group can access what resources in oci and to the what level so if you see in example here we write policies like allow group you specify the group name two verb stands for either you can read use or manage that particular resources and then you can have a resource type which could be a database or instance or buckets or object storage and you can also have aggregated resources and these access are either granted then to the tenancy or to the compartment so there were a lot of questions related to policies and out of those i've shared few on our show notes at ketonacademy.com forward slash 17. don't hesitate to share it here in this video or on this show notes under comment section so as i said policies can be applied either on tenancy or compartment so the next thing you should know is compartment this again in my view apart from policies is another most critical thing that's very important for you that you should take care at the time of designing your infrastructure or designing your oci so let's look at what is compartment now compartment is nothing but a logical container to organize and control access to your oci resources like compute storage network load balancers etc so you create policies on and apply them onto a compartment and that's how that access is granted so just to see this is an example of a policy from e-business suite where we say allow group and this is the group name to manage the virtual network family which means entire resources under the network in compartment whatever name of the compartment that we designate and put all our network resources so here if you see we are giving manage which means you can create and delete but if you see here use which means they can only use resources but can't create or delete the resources so this is for another group so compartment design in my view is one of the most critical as at the same time challenging as well so you need to decide how you want to protect or how you want to put your resources and this is what we explain in detail in our in my oci training so you can have compartment or sub compartment or hierarchical compartment or compartment at the same level so just to give an example you can have a network compartment where you grant this access to your network admins and in which you place your all your network resources then you can have a department wise compartment in which you keep your other resources and give access to the appropriate department and within that department you can have a project wise compartment so that only that particular project members have access to the appropriate resources under that we are creating a central it network compartment and at the same level we have created two different compartments finance and hr and within that finance and hr compartment you can create project specific compartments questions related to compartment and i've shared few of them the nested compartment we get a lot of questions as well so have a look at again show notes k2academy.com forward slash 17. now we also discuss a lot about authentication authorization and important thing is you should know about all these things when you're appearing this certification or working on oci so api things like api keys or authentication token so if you're learning oci or appearing for the certification 100932 you should learn things like identity and access management within that users three different type of users authentication different type of authentication authorization compartment and policies now if you're appearing for 100932 certification though exam contains only 10 percent of identity and access management but it's in my view one of the most critical topic 
and one of the most important topic that you as an OCI architect should become expert on. So if you're working on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and are not yet OCI certified, that's 100932, then I highly recommend you to have a look at ktoninacademy.com forward slash OCI02, a free masterclass on how to become an Oracle certified cloud architect 100932 in eight weeks with me and cloud expert Amit where we cover everything that you must know before appearing for this certification. So we'll start with basic concepts about cloud. Then we'll look at common past services offering. Also the basic core services like network, compute, storage, databases, and then who should learn OCI and why. We'll discuss about the commonly made mistakes when appearing for this certification. Now, hundreds of my students have successfully cleared this certification on their first attempt but before they come a lot of students have already attempted and failed because of the very common mistakes now i've put all these common mistakes as well as the tricky questions in this free master class so have a look at ktoninacademy.com forward slash oca02 register for this free master class and have a look what to expect in exam now next week i'm going to talk everything about networking so things like virtual cloud network cider subnet routing table which is connecting outside virtual cloud network and different type of gateways that should you should know so gateways like internet gateway net gateway service gateway dynamic routing gateway etc so don't forget to subscribe to our blog by going to ketoneacademy.com forward slash subscribe or on our youtube channel so that you don't miss any new useful content that we produce related to Oracle Cloud. Well, that's it for today from me, Atul Kumar from team k Academy, where we discussed about identity and access management in Oracle Cloud infrastructure as part of day two of my training. And I'll see you next Tuesday where we talk about networking in OCI.